All right, so what we're doing today is we're doing another five minute rebuild. If you guys don't know how this works is once we accept our very first trade, we have five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to make all of our roster moves, all of our trades, free agent signings, moves within the organization. It's a lot to do in five minutes. You got to worry about pitching staff, offensive players, position players, whatever you want to call them. There's a lot to do. So we're going to be doing the Cardinals today and pitching wise, that's going to be my biggest question mark with this team. Offensively, I think we're pretty set. But pitching wise, it's going to be a tough one. So if you guys enjoy these five minute rebuilds, let me know which team to do next in the comment section down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are new and enjoy MLB content. Other than that, guys, let's just let's just hop into it. Let's look at settings and go on, you know, kind of talk about this rebuild and things like that. So obviously settings wise, we want to make sure that the budgets ignore budgets is off. Force trades is off. Um, we're going to control everything so the CPU doesn't make any mid-season moves, no roster moves, no uh, trade deadline trades, no draft picks. None of those are important. The only moves we can make are within those first five minutes at the beginning of the season. So it's, it's a big challenge. There's a lot to do here. There's a big amount of money already poured into contracts between Goldschmidt, Molina, Carpenter, Fowler, Miller, Ozuna, Martinez, michael is like there's a lot of pitchers who have some pretty big contracts that we gotta like remember like cecil we need to trade cecil there's no reason to keep him. so offensively besides maybe our center field spot i feel pretty confident in everybody in this lineup i know molina is going to be at like a 70 overall after this year but he's a, he's a core part of this cardinals team if i trade him i know i'm going to get so much hate in the, the comment section so we'll, we'll keep him this time i know he's going to be bad but we'll keep them this time. This is the area I want to strengthen the most. Um, Michaelis and Flaherty just aren't good enough to carry the starting rotation. So we definitely need to find a 3-4-5. Michael Walker's solid. Sometimes, sometimes he sits around a 4, 4.5 ERA. So we might need to look to find a new long reliever. John Gant just isn't good enough either for that long relief spot. So we definitely need to find a new one. Brebia, Martinez, Hicks, and Miller are really the only pitchers I'm cool with keeping. Even when you look down here with like Cecil, Leone, Reyes, I'm just not really confident in those guys. So I definitely want to strengthen this bullpen and this starting rotation. That's the big area. So once we make these moves, once we make that first trade, time starts. Only five minutes to make all of our moves. Uh, and I want to make a move now before I forget. I want to move Martinez to the closing spot and Miller into the setup role. But that counts as a roster move and it would start the time. So I'm going to hold off. So what we're going to do here is I know a pitcher I want to go for because every time I do a rebuild, that doesn't matter if it's a normal rebuild, a five-minute rebuild, or anything like that, this guy always does well the very first year. And he's a Cleveland Indian, and he's actually Carlos Carrasco. For some reason, he is always really, really good for at least two, three seasons. And I never, I never trade for him. So this is actually an arm I want to get. So we're going to go Alex Reyes. And let's try to add, like, Players that I'm just, I'm not going to use to try to get this deal done. So maybe like a, a Sosa, does that do it? It doesn't. Edmund, I think he's part of the like the actual squad, so let's not throw him in there. What about Carson? Carson just gets the deal done. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And we got to remember to bring Carrasco up from the minors. So this is the trade that we're going to start it off with in three, two, one. Time has started, so what we're going to do right away is we're going to make those roster moves that I already mentioned. So Carrasco is going to be called up to the majors. We're going to move him to the MLB squad. We're going to move over Carrasco to the starting rotation. We're going to move Carlos Martinez as our closer, so we got something like that to work with. So now let's try to get some of these extra pitchers out that we don't need. Um, let's try to do like a little package deal, maybe throw in one of our better... Um, you know prospects that's what the word i was looking for a prospect and let's try to find someone else who i know does really well jameson tyone is interesting but i just don't think he's a a pitcher we're gonna use Ooh, that's kind of far off so i don't think we're gonna be able to figure that one out and we gotta worry about contracts because there is so much money already being poured into this team we're kind of limited we can't even get a nine million dollar contract out of this so we might have to actually take out wainwright and maybe throw in like a dexter fowler open up some contract space and maybe then we can get like a garrett cole we're a little bit off on garrett cole okay so maybe that's not an option um what kind of rating are we looking at okay maybe like a, a charlie morton 
Tanaka, no. Man, this is tough. We're already down to almost three and a half minutes. Who do we want to get? I know we can't get Kershaw, which is a little disappointing. Um, Tyone, we can't get. It's got to be somewhat of a big contract. Trevor Bauer, we're not too far off on. I just don't know if we have any A's. Ooh, we could trade Tyler O'Neill. So let's throw, let's get out Ponce de Leon. And maybe we just put in Tyler O'Neill. And that should actually get us the trade for Trevor Bauer, right? Ooh, we might actually be able to get someone else now. We just miss out on Aaron Nola. And we are down to three minutes. So I probably shouldn't be messing around with this too much. Can we get Scherzer? Or not Scherzer, Strasburg? That wouldn't have been bad. Ooh, that would have been a trade I would have been really interested in. I'm going to do a quick little search. Maybe Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole is an interesting option. We could probably throw in like Ryan Presley. We can't. Ooh. Oh, man, we're already down to two and a half minutes. All right, let's go back to that one trade we were looking at. Trevor Bauer is definitely going to be joining us. Let's just go straight up for that. Maybe bring in like uh, Philip Irving. We can't get Philip Irving. I would love to get Aquino, but he's just not high enough rated. Um, we're I know we're running super low on time, so I need to hurry this trade up. Let's just go straight Trevor Bauer. Two and a half minutes. Oh, man, I've really messed this one up. Um, so Carlos Carrasco is going to go there. We're going to take... We got we to gotta figure out another trade for a pitcher. That's a big question mark right here. Pitchers, pitchers, pitchers. All right, Wainwright. Let's go Hudson, and let's go there. And let's just find, like, a, a low-rated, like, a Ryan Yarbrough or something. That's plenty good um chirinos yeah let's go chirinos and let's just accept it i know it's a lot to give up right away but we're running out of time and we need to strengthen this um bullpen for sure i already know who i want to get for the long relief role i just don't trust walker we're gonna go robbie erlin straight up and then we got to get rid of like cecil leone and gant let's try to find like a little package deal here Oh, this is tough we're down to a minute 30 seconds how are we gonna do this let's try to find an arm who i can trust is Ryan Presley a player we could get? Um, Probably not the more I look at things. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Who's another good little cheap arm to get? Oh, boy. We're running out of time. We're running out of time really, really quickly. We're almost down to a minute. Trevor Gott. You know what? I'm going to put my faith in Trevor Gott. Come on. Someone get us over the line. There we go. We get another bullpen arm. Let's make sure right away that every single player that we need is in this like the MLB squad. I don't want him here. So just to be safe, I'm going to bring up Leone down to 50 seconds. Oh man, I don't want him up here either. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to trade for a bullpen arm. How are we looking lineup wise? Could use a center fielder. Oh boy. I didn't Oh no. That's not good. We got to trade Bader for sure. Um, let's trade Sosa. Let's try to find a, a, a decent little center field option. 30 seconds. Uh, Starling Marte. Okay, Starling Marte is not bad. Let's just make sure he's part of the actual team now. Um, he is. And then 20 seconds. What's our bullpen looking like? Um, it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. I think we're going to have to go with that. 14 seconds. And I think this is it. Um, 10 seconds. Do we have... A free agent that we could sign to help us out maybe an outfielder will just go here one year i got a second he said oh. whoo 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 that was close so did he get put into the major league squad he did not i mean i signed him to be a major leaguer and he didn't go there i feel like i should still be able to put him in so this one time, like that was that was what I wanted him to do. And I hate that he wasn't put into the major league squad. So overall, I feel like I should be able to do that. So what we're gonna do here is I'll quickly just get the lineup how I want it to be. It's not gonna be too much different than what um I'm already rocking with. So you guys can see that what what I'm doing here. Um Starling Marte is gonna be put there. We need a DH versus lefties. Anybody hit lefties really well? Um not really. <laughs> um so we'll just go we'll just go admin and we'll, we'll kind of rock with this oh no 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 we'll do that and then we'll put Marte up here I do want I think we're just gonna go something like this I mean it's it's not a crazy like amazing squad or anything it's not like oh my god this team's gonna win a world series day one but we should get I mean actually it's not it's not terrible Chirinos needs to go back over here and then look I mean look at the squad this team is actually pretty strong Maybe I'm wrong on this whole, like, they may not win a World Series. I think we did pretty solid. 
um yeah i think we did pretty well we probably could have done a little bit better on the the bullpen um and i think i took a little bit too long on one of those trades um but overall i feel pretty strong with the team we put together the thing that really killed us was that budget man that was that was tough to work around that really was that was really tough to work around i i'm surprised we were able were able to do it and with only 710,000 a week to work with so that was the big challenge with this team that budget so that's gonna be it we're gonna hop into the simulation part of it see how we did throughout the year and i'll catch you guys um oh i gotta make sure everything is on manual it is so yeah i'll catch you guys at the end of the season um and see how how the the whole simulation went and how far we got maybe we won the division or not Alrighty, so i think it's really close like really close 93 and 69 the postseason is a wild card team and um overall the team looks like it did well i mean we had some league leaders goldschmidt and michaelis looked like he pitched really well which is surprising because he normally doesn't we missed out on the division by four games um got in the wild card by quite a bit actually oh wow what happened there that's that's interesting and then i'm gonna show you this we're ranked first in the majors S um this is a weird weird um like franchise there's that's just i mean looking at the team it looks like it i mean this is why i picked up carlos carrasco 286 with a 110 whip look at those stats that is Ooh, those are nice. Um, Flaherty was okay. Chirinos was pretty solid as well, but um, that's that is strange. That is really strange. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, it's almost like real life. It's almost like too realistic, where teams are like so close to five hundred. But I don't think I've ever seen that for for a franchise. I mean, like looking at the entire MLB. I don't think I've ever seen something like this where like almost every team is like 500 unless they won the division. That's super strange. Oh, let's go back to the pitching rotation. This is a weird one. Um, Robbie Erland did very well. The whip's a little high, but overall he did pretty solid. Brebia, a little bit of a disappointment. Gott did well. Leone did okay. And then Miller, Hicks, and Carlos Martinez. Not as good as a closer as I would have hoped. Um, probably could have gone like Hicks or Miller, but um, I'm definitely cool with how things went there. So, I mean, I'm just super confused, like, what happened here. Because when I looked at our our um, record, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a really close race. You know, we're only going to make the wild card by, like, a team or two, but or, like, a game or two, not 14. That's a strange one. This is... This is a definite weird one. Um, Marte only hit 249, which is a little bit of a disappointment. I'm used to him hit, seeing high 200, hitting two, like high 200s, doubles, home runs, RBIs, good on base percentage. He did hit 32 doubles, which isn't terrible. 266 for Colton Wong, um, 27 doubles. Okay, alrighty, then not terrible. Paul Goldschmidt was very good. Um, 46 doubles, 40 home runs, 112 RBIs. Good amount of walks as well. He did really well. His OPS was in the thousands. Ozuna did well. Um, I don't know why his overall and potential is going down. He hit the ball really well. 260 isn't bad. He still got on base at a 330 on base percentage. 460 or 480 slugging and an 818 OPS. That's not a bad year at all. Like I don't get that. Deong, good doubles, good home runs, RBIs. Average is a little below, but um, not terrible. Matt Carpenter did quite well happy with that yadi i told you he'd be like a 70 he's down to a 69 nice uh we got martinez who went down a little bit but he had a, a really good year like how can you say that his overall should go down or I, I guess he is a 78 but um doubles are up there home runs rbis his average on base percentage all that stuff's really good and yeah ramuno says our dh was not terrible it was not terrible at all our bench did very well weeders martin um, even Edmund did quite well. I don't really think we had anybody down here who we could have used instead. So I think we went with the right team. Um, very strange how the season played out, but it looks like our team did really well in comparison to every other team in the majors. So I'm just, I'm super confused with, 
what happened there. I'm pretty sure I put quick manage. We're going to go Trevor Bauer here. And uh, it was taking on the Phillies. Aaron Nola, a player actually was going to try to get. Um, but I just couldn't get him. So let's see how we start this game. Goldschmidt with a double. Ozuna brings him in. And now looking at their team, it doesn't look like much has changed. Um, it looks like the standard Phillies team. First and second, no outs. Jose Martinez, I'm telling you guys, he is a glitch. He's a low-rated player who does so much better than what he's rated. So, so far, so good. One run does come in. No runs. Oh, no extra run score there. So, that's good. Bases loaded for Colton Wong. No extra runs for us. So, we still hold that three-run lead heading into the fifth. Good double to start the inning. Nothing happens there. If Trevor Bauer can give us, like, six innings, I'll be super happy with that. You know, there it is, six innings. Stamina is a little low. Ozuna gives us a four-run lead, so I'll take that. Um, I'm just going to be safe. I'm going to take him out. We're going to go Trevor Gott, who actually had a really solid season. And let's just keep moving forward. Um, can he go another inning, though? He does. Perfect. Save the bullpen. Save the pitching staff. We'll be set there. Five-run lead. I'll take that. I probably should have taken out Gott. But... We're going to take out Gott. We're going to bring in Brebia. He gets the out. We win that game, and we move on. Jose Martinez is a glitch. We have a four-run win. I'll take that for sure. So, heading into this game, I definitely need to change the pitching staff. Trevor Bauer needs to pitch this game, or in this series. So, we're going to go We're gonna go like that. I feel like that should be a good enough time to rest Trevor Bauer. Um... Game one, we lose. Game two, we lose four to five. Jordan Hicks lost it there. If we lose this, we're eliminated. So we got to play it. I mean, quick manage at least. And actually, I'm going to move my camera because you guys have been asking me to show you guys the stamina for the pitcher. So let me change it. Okay, so now I'm down in the bottom corner. Um, just so you guys can see the stamina. Bauer is going to be pitching. And going against the Braves, their lineup looks the same as well. So not much has changed. We just need a good outing from Bauer and some good offensive display from the team. And so far, it's looking like a pitching matchup, like a good pitcher's duel between the two teams. Can we strike first? There's two hits between the two teams. There we go, Ozuna. No run scores there. Come on. There, Jose Martinez again. He does it. He does what he needs to do, and it's he's just a clutch hitter. Who would have thought? A 78 overall right fielder with like 20 fielding is just being a beast for us. Come on, Bauer. Just get us out of this. That's seven innings of three-hit ball for him. Martinez again with a double. First and second. I don't think we should take him out. But I'm going to be safe. See if we can, you know, take advantage of it. Weeders. Let's go. Let's go, Martin. Flies out. Can Marte bring in the run? He does. There we go. It actually worked out for us pretty well. We're going to bring in Miller. Yeah, let's go, Miller double play he oh there we go that was huge okay so now we're gonna go to martinez to close the door please there we go that was a good win that was what we needed for sure let's keep going keep moving forward we definitely i feel like we're gonna get a little bit of a a, a run going here just won that game let's go flaherty let's, we'll go we'll go with the cardinal see how he does a triple hit by pitch a walk two out run five two out runs are you serious we should have gone with michaelis even though he's he's done it's that's seven runs dude like come on like that's this what was that like oh man this is okay maybe a little bit of a, a comeback in the in the works sack fly i'll take that okay it's only a five run game it's not too crazy we started to get a little a rally going there's one run bases loaded for carpenter that would have been huge. Just any sort of runs there. That would have been massive. Can we come back? Erlen, Yachty, okay. Martinez gets on. Erlen gave us a good amount of innings. What was that? Three innings from him? We need the runs. So we're going to go to... We're going to go Munoz here. He strikes out. Marte gets on. Wong, singles, bases loaded for Goldschmidt. Grand Slam would be unreal. I'll take two runs. Oh, man. This is huge. This is really good for us. Um, Let's go... I don't really want to go to the left yet, but I feel like it's probably the smarter idea. We get out of it. I'll take that. Okay. Got gave us two innings. We're running out of time. We're only down one, though. So, like, 
Anything can change this game. Please, 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 please. There we go. That was huge. Come on, God. Hold the lead. Come on. You can do it. No, 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 no. All right, eighth inning. We got to go to Andrew Miller. One run did score, but they got him out. Okay, so we're still we're still in a good spot. A good double to start it off. We got a pinch hit. Going against the righty. Come on, Martin. Strikes out Marte. Wong. No. Three walks. How unlucky can we get with the pitching in this game? How unlucky can we be? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, come on. I need you guys here. Like, how unlucky. Like, we came back. We had it. It was in our grasp. Oh. Flaherty let me down. Aaron Hicks. Three walks. All you had to do. I, I like. I can't. Like, the bullpen did so well. Like, look at that. Look at that. And then Hicks. Flaherty. Michaelis. I guess we could have gone to, but he didn't have the best of outings. Our first two guys didn't really hit the ball that well. Um, looking at the rest of it. Not terrible. Paul Young did struggle a little bit, but um, I'm disappointed. I can't believe we lost there. We came back and we had it and then just fell apart. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks so much. Oh, man. I thought, I thought we had a good team. You know, we had, what, second best, third best, fourth best team in the majors, fifth best team in the majors. And ranked first in the majors, apparently here. I don't, I don't get that, but I guess that's where it's gonna end for that five-minute rebuild. I thought we put together a really, really solid team. I thought we did. I thought we had it. Things were going really solid. Um, you know, we beat the Phillies. It was a close game with the Phillies, but then we started playing really well against the Braves. Um, Jordan Hicks lost us that game too. So I guess, I guess Jordan Hicks just wasn't the guy to go to. You know, um, I mean, I understand Trevor got got the loss here, but I think he allowed what one run and I'm not even upset about that. That wasn't like he pitched what two innings up until that point. So he did really well. I mean, it really should have went to Flaherty who allowed eight runs in two innings. So that's how it's going to end, guys. I hope you enjoyed this five minute rebuild. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below which team you would like to see. Also, hit that like button. That's the easiest way for me to know that you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. I'll catch you all in the next video. 